Good evening. Tonight we're going to talk about the Powerbeats Pro. I've had them for over a year and I use them almost daily. So let's check out how they are. The Powerbeats Pro come in at $250. You can usually find them for $200. So they're still more expensive than a lot of the other Bluetooth options on the market. So what do you get for that value? Apple claims that you can get nine hours of battery life. And then with the included case, you can get up to 24 hours without having to recharge everything. That's been pretty accurate for me. I usually plug them in maybe once a week and then I'll use them on and off th uh, throughout the week for running and for podcasts in the evening when I'm doing dishes. The Powerbeats Pro have this over-ear design which makes sure that they're really secure when you're using them. I really appreciate this since the AirPods Pro would keep falling out on me when I tried using those, especially for running. This has Apple's H1 chip. This means that if you open up your device next to an Apple device, it'll automatically be detected and easily connected. You don't have to go through all the Bluetooth settings. And then once it's paired with your iCloud account, any device that you have your iCloud installed on, you'll be able to connect it. So your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, and even your Apple Watch. Now I really appreciate this since I am in the Apple ecosystem, I can easily be switching between all of these devices. They also come in six colors, cloud pink, glacier blue, lava red, ivory, black, and navy. The device has one button with play and pause. If you tap and hold, you can activate Siri, and then it has a rocker for controlling volume. This is great for running and for daily use. Now, I almost exclusively use these for listening to podcasts, but it's also good for listening to music. It's not the same fullness that you'll get from over-the-ear headphones or from the AirPods Pro, but it's perfectly adequate for around the house listening. The volume also gets pretty loud, but since it's not really giving you a full seal, it's not gonna block out a lot of the additional sounds and there is no noise canceling like the AirPods Pro. When you're running by buses and trucks, you're still gonna get that noise. So I do use these daily and I really enjoy them, but there are a few issues I hope they will fix in the next revision. I primarily use these headphones for running and I wish they were a little bit better weather sealed. After a couple months of use, the right ear button has stopped working when I go for runs. I think it's gotten a little bit too much sweat in there and the button becomes mushy. And this means that if I accidentally tap it when it's mushy, it kind of gets stuck and then every little while it will automatically trigger and set off Siri. Thankfully the left ear button continues to work just fine so it hasn't been too big of an issue. The volume toggle on top is awesome. I have no complaints about it. It works perfectly and it's really easy to access when running even when you're bouncing. Unfortunately the outer button being against your ear does become a little uncomfortable when you're actually running and trying to control your whole body. Sometimes you can push a little bit too hard and that's uncomfortable. But for normal day wear, when I'm doing dishes or doing chores around the house, it's not a problem at all. Now the worst part about the product is actually the case. Now I wouldn't mind it being a little bit smaller, even if it meant losing a few hours of battery life. But on the whole, I don't mind the size. What really annoys me about this case is you're never sure if it's actually charging inside. I have definitely put the headphones in at night, thinking that they were charging just to get ready for a run pull them out and one of them is fully charged and the other one is completely dead. There's only a single light that's on the outside and that doesn't let you know if both headphones are properly plugged in. There's a little bit of magnetic connection which you're like, oh, this is amazing, it's magnets, but it doesn't always make a strong connection. So I actually had to open up the widget on my phone to verify that both of them are actually plugged in and then I can close the case for the night. It's a little bit of annoyance. It's not the end of the world. I do wish that there was two lights on here to let you know if both of them were charging. Every once in a while, I will pull them out of the case and one ear will start playing, but the other one won't. I have to go back to the case, dock them, let them sit for a little bit, and then pull them out again. And usually that fixes the issue and then they'll both start working as expected. Now I do use these headphones daily and therefore I think it's worth the value. Being able to switch from my watch to my phone to my Mac and not have to deal with Bluetooth connections is really convenient. And I do not miss the days of having to go run with my phone and wired headphones. Being able to be completely wireless with my watch is a great convenience. So overall, I think that they're worth it. I hope this review was useful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Have a good night and I'll see you next week.